Hi, today I would like to tell you a little bit about the project that we call uh, Eli5, which is Eval Like I'm 5, and how it differs from uh, using Langsmith uh, and when it is reasonable to uh, to use it, it is reasonable to leverage leverage it for your gain. I would say that uh, at the beginning, at the beginning of working at the feature, beginning of the iterating on the feature, it's just easier to use pure Langsmith and iterate just on the prompt mm, because it's just cheaper, because it takes way less time to set it up. Uh, data sets and evaluations in Langsmith alone and making sure that we have, um, making sure that uh, the, mm, the prompt behaves like we need it to behave. So when it works, when it is worth worth to move it to Eli five to start using Eli five for your feature. In my opinion, this moment is when you know that you will invest more in this feature. You want to work on bigger data sets, and you know that this will be like repeated process. That it's not like one time thing. It's going to be used and reused and reused over time many times. Why it's important? Because to make um, make things work in the Eli 5, you need to do some upfront time investment into setting it up. Uh, not, not the project. Project is easy to set up, but to set up evaluation for your data sets. Uh, as I said, evaluation should be uh, should be adjusted to your to your feature. So this is important. Also you need to make sure that you have uh, like some input to the to the project. We usually, uh, for example, for chat, we uh, set up the client to local GDK to connect with local GDK and ask chat things. And then we the, res the response from chat from local GDK was evaluated, but we need like, but for to that, we need to have like uh, set up data uh, so this is this upfront investment setting evaluations, making sure that we have the same data sets for different for the feature. This is why uh, moving eval to eval to ELA five uh, requires some upfront investment. This is why we need. This is why I do not recommend doing it right away, like as a first thing. Additional problem that we are facing with Eli 5 that we are now working on is how to have the same data in GDK for different people, right? Because uh, we can use seeds, we can use imports. There are different possibilities. You just need to figure out what will work best for you. Are you going to have the same project for everyone, right? or something else, but this is important to understand how to work with the same data for different people. So evaluating your responses can be, uh, can be comparable. Yeah. Those are the main um, challenges we now are working with Eli5. Uh, in terms of setting it up, using it, uh, Eli5 has uh, quite extensive documentation. Currently, uh, at this moment, it is possible to use it for uh, chat questions about code. Mm, for example, like how to write a function doing something. Uh, chat questions about documentation. Mm, we also added some evaluations for code suggestions. Uh, the code suggestions team did an amazing job on that. Mm. And I know that one other the create one of the create teams were also using uh, Eli five uh, to work on their uh, on their feature. So as I said, like as I, as I said, like this project is not giving you like the full possibilities. Like you need to add your things to make it work. Uh, but overall, it uh, it allows you to run your evaluations on, for example, on local GDK, and then see the results in a Langsmith. UI the same the same way as we were seeing uh, results from uh, Langsmith runs. Then we can compare them. 
same thing, uh, but with uh, with local uh, with those local evaluations using those scripts that we have set up for you in LA five, you can run uh, you can use bigger data sets. So this is good.